Uh, but yeah, it's it's been a bumpy stretch to even today, and we've got more bumps in the road tomorrow. Uh, you can see your tornado risk is low, and again, there's still some uncertainties with how this is going to unfold. But we've got the potential for some spin up tornadoes tomorrow, maybe one or two. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on those storms as they fire. And as you head into the overnight, you can see the clouds building in, the rain building in. How long that sticks around is really going to dictate our threat as we head into the afternoon and evening. But on your hour by hour, watch. What happens after 2 p.m. Storms fire up through northwestern portions and central portions of the state, and those quickly start to race their way to the east as that area of low pressure pinwheels its way to the east. By 10 a.m. on Thursday, still dealing with some showers and some thunderstorms, mainly to the north, but that threat has shifted out of the state. Storms today, though, didn't stop this crew from finishing their softball game. You can see these girls from Ballard out there having the time of their lives. Rainbows in the background, mammatus clouds in the background, uh, just enjoying themselves. So as far as your rain goes, as we head through Thursday, you can see areas to the north. Remember, we've got flood warnings for areas uh, by Humboldt upwards towards Kasuth County. Those areas could see two thirds of an inch, even upwards of an inch and a half upwards towards Mason City. The bullseye sits to the east, but again, this is really going to depend on where some of those stronger storms fire. And with the rain that we have seen today, well, this is going to exacerbate those flood uh, warnings uh, quite a bit if we do get that rain tomorrow. Nearly two inches of rain fell in Ames today, nearly an inch in the metro. So river levels again, we've got three that are at minor flood stage. That's Des Moines River at, at uh, Southeast 6th Street, Raccoon River at Fleur Drive, Des Moines River up at Fort Dodge, and Des Moines River at 2nd Avenue is in uh, nearly flood stage. Rain has shifted to the east, so we're looking at a relatively dry night for us, at least for the time being. That temperature sitting at 64 degrees with cloudy skies. You can see the dry air we have in place. That's not going to last that long. And as we head into the day tomorrow, we'll get a surge of moisture that's going to pump its way in. That's going to drive those dew points back into the mid 50s. And with that in place, that's going to increase the instability. So we've got that and a rotating area of low pressure that'll bring in some wind shear, which does help to organize storms. So as those fire up off that instability, uh, could catch some of those bits of wind shear and again lead to the potential for a spin up tornado or two. And potentially even some large hail in spots. So eight day forecast for you bringing in rain on Thursday. Temperatures dipping down into the middle 60s. A sunny stretch though headed into the weekend here. Friday, Saturday, Mother's Day looking beautiful. After that, we climb back to near 80 degrees on Monday. Uh, ben and Stacy, we've got a lot more coming up, don't we?